Welcome to our video about fungus between toes. How to get rid of foot fungus between toes. To get rid of the fungal infection, you have to do a few things at home. Using an antifungal scrub made of ground rice flour and apple cider vinegar is a good start. This scrub should be repeated at least a few times per week to remove dead skin cells. Tea tree oil is also a good choice for foot fungus between toes because it has antiseptic properties. You can mix it with olive oil or coconut oil and apply it to the infected area. Treatment for Athlete's Foot Treatment for athlete's foot between toes may include using sea salt or vinegar solution. Mix the two together and add them to a warm foot bath. Soak the feet in the solution for 20 minutes, and then dry thoroughly. If the symptoms persist, you may apply talcum powder to the affected area. This is an effective solution for the condition, and it can also help prevent further spread. It is important to consult a doctor if your symptoms persist and are bothering you. Your doctor may perform tests or refer you to a dermatologist. Antifungal tablets and steroid creams may be prescribed, and it is important to follow treatment instructions to avoid the infection recurring. Your doctor may also recommend a course of treatment that will help you prevent the athlete's foot from coming back in the future. Antifungal medications can be effective for curing an athlete's foot between toes. Athlete's foot creams come in a variety of varieties. 1. Lamicillic cream, for example, can cure the condition on the bottom of the foot in people over the age of 12 when applied twice a day for one week. The gel, on the other hand, provides enhanced convenience. In severe cases, bacterial infections can spread to other areas of the body. Oftentimes, an athlete's foot infection will become more painful, develop pus, or even develop into open sores. If the condition worsens, it is important to see a doctor as soon as possible. If you have no symptoms, however, you should consider using an oral antibiotic or topical treatment. It is possible to spread the infection to other people and even develop a more serious form. Several treatments are available to treat the infection. Your doctor may prescribe antifungal creams for you. These medicines may be bought at a pharmacy. They may take a few weeks to work, so be patient. Follow the instructions carefully and finish the prescribed medication. Athlete's foot can disappear in the early stages, but incomplete treatment may lead to a recurrence of the problem. Home Remedies First and foremost, you should keep your feet dry. Avoid wearing sandals or plastic shoes, which trap moisture and encourage fungus growth. Instead, choose shoes made of natural materials like leather or wool. A vinegar foot soak is another effective remedy. You can use equal parts of vinegar and water in the tub. Use the hottest setting. You should also change your socks at least once a day. Changing socks after wearing them is an excellent way to prevent reinfection. Another home remedy for foot fungus is baking soda. The antifungal properties of baking soda can help fight toenail fungus. You can make a paste from baking soda and water and apply it to your feet. Let it sit for 10 to 20 minutes before rinsing. You can also sprinkle it on your feet or put it in your shoes. It will help wick moisture away from your foot. You can use this remedy as often as needed. Another topical remedy is yogurt. Yogurt contains live acidophilus bacteria that kill fungus. You can buy these devices in home stores and at podiatrist offices. However, be careful, as home remedies may worsen the condition. If you try these home remedies without seeking professional treatment, the infection can spread to other areas of your foot, making it more difficult to cure. Therefore, it is always better to visit a podiatrist if you're suffering from an athlete's foot. You can also use ozonated oils to treat toenail fungus. Ozonated oil has been proven effective against several fungi. It can be applied directly to the affected nails or around the whole toe. Once the oil has been applied, it will be absorbed by the infected area. You should repeat this process several times a day. If you don't see any positive results, Consult a podiatrist for further treatment options. Another natural remedy for toenail fungus is to soak your feet in plain tea. The tannins in black tea kill bacteria and keep your feet dry. They also reduce sweating. Boil 2 quarts of water and add 5 or 6 tea bags. Leave your feet in the solution for 30 minutes a day. Remember to thoroughly dry them after each use. Afterward, you can wear clean socks and shoes. Treatment with Oral Antifungals If you're suffering from foot fungus between toes, 
you're probably aware of some of the symptoms that it can cause. Itching and scaling are common, and you may also notice cracks or fissures. In some cases, your toenails will become thickened or crumble, and you'll experience a foul odor. It can also lead to other serious issues, such as a thickened foot. Treatment for foot fungus between toes is available and is based on the severity of the infection. In addition to affecting individuals with an immune system-related problem, people who spend time in swimming pools are also at higher risk of this infection. One study found that 9% of swimmers had fungal feet, with the highest prevalence among males aged 16 and older. In severe cases, a doctor may prescribe an oral antifungal medication. Often, the treatment includes a course of oral antifungal medication for a few weeks to a month. Although oral antifungals can help treat toenail folliculitis, their effects are slow. They work slowly, but after stopping the medication, improvement continues. Compared with topical antifungals, oral medications have a higher cure rate. Depending on the type of fungus, oral antifungals may take anywhere from 9 to 12 months to work. However, they are more effective than topical medications and may be more expensive than topical creams. Several types of antifungal creams are available over the counter or with a prescription. These creams, lotions and powders are applied directly to the affected area. Many of these products are effective and can be prescribed to children. Oral antifungals may also be prescribed in severe cases when topical treatments are not enough. If you have a fungal infection in your foot, the best option is to consult your physician. Prevention is important when it comes to foot folliculitis. Prevention is a key factor in prevention. Avoiding the environment where your feet are frequently exposed to contaminated soil will help prevent you from developing this infection in the first place. Besides that, avoiding walking barefoot in public areas and wearing socks in the airport will help you avoid spreading the infection to others. For stubborn cases, you can also use an antifungal spray or sprinkle the powder into your shoes. Treatment with Hydrocortisone Cream The fungi thrive in warm, damp environments, so to prevent foot dermatosis, keep your feet cool and dry. After washing your feet, wipe dry the area between the toes, and wear socks or shoes that allow your feet to breathe. Avoid wearing plastic or nylon socks, as these encourage foot sweating. Instead, wear open-toed sandals and cotton socks. Alternate your footwear between days and change your socks frequently. Topical agents that contain terbinafine and zinc undecenote are effective for foot fungus between toes. Applying an antifungal cream to the infected area several times per day can reduce the chance of recurrence by threefold. However, be sure to follow your doctor's advice on this. Children and pregnant and breastfeeding women should not apply hydrocortisone cream. Diabetics should seek medical attention if they develop foot fungus. Generally, treatments for foot fungus between toes can last for up to two weeks. The effectiveness of the treatment depends on the type of fungus and the severity of the symptoms. In severe cases, a doctor may prescribe stronger antifungal drugs if the underlying infection is resistant to hydrocortisone cream. The fungus that causes an athlete's foot also attacks nails. The fungi usually invade the skin when conditions are right. The fungi prefer warm, moist, and airless conditions, which make them ideal for growth. A pharmacist can prescribe topical hydrocortisone cream to treat foot fungus between toes. In severe cases, a doctor may prescribe oral medications for tinea pettis. These may cause adverse reactions, such as diarrhea and a skin rash. While a non-prescription treatment can be an effective initial therapeutic option, it is important to stick with it until it works. The symptoms of an athlete's foot vary widely. Most people with this infection experience itchy, scaly, cracked, sore skin. The rash may even spread to the soles of the feet. If left untreated, it can lead to a blister or an infection of the toenails. In addition to the pain, it is important to visit a doctor for a diagnosis and treatment. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe if this was helpful.